Hey young man. Alright, so we're going to talk a little bit about calculating net force here. So please open up to the next page in your journal and title it Calculating Net Force. Alright, so here are a few notes that you need to write down. So you can pause the video, write them down, and then continue playing the video. Alright, so we have to remember, if the forces are equal, they're called balanced. If the forces are unequal, so for example 10 and 15, those forces are called unbalanced. If the forces on an object are going in two different directions, for example one goes left and one goes right, you subtract those two forces. However, if the forces are going in the same direction, so they're both going right or they're both going left, you add the forces. And always remember that the greater force wins. So if you have 10 and 15, 15 will always win because it is greater. Alright, let's take a look at the first example and make sure you're writing everything down. Alright, so we have a square here. It's going to be our object. And we have two forces. Alright, so the first thing we need to figure out is, are the forces equal? So look at the numbers, 15 and 15. Are they the same? Yeah, they are. Great job. So we know that these forces are balanced because they're equal. Alright, so we have to figure out, are these forces going in the same direction or different directions? Alright, so you're probably thinking that they're going in the same direction because they're both pointing to the box. However, this force right here is moving to the right, and this one is moving to the left. So technically, they're going in different directions. So if they're different directions, we need to subtract. Alright, so let's go and subtract them. 15 minus 15, what does that give you? Great job, zero. So in this case, the net force equals zero newtons. We use the N for newtons because that's the unit of measurement for force. Alright, so since they're balanced, does any of, do any of them win? No, great job. No one wins, so because of that, this object does not move. No movement. Alright, let's look at the next example. We have this box. And we have two forces also. We have one of 20 and one of 27. So, are the forces equal? Great job, they're not equal. One is bigger. So because of that, these forces are balanced or unbalanced? Great job, these forces are unbalanced. Alright, so now let's ask ourselves. Same direction or different directions? Great job, different directions. This one's going to the right. This one goes to the left. So if they're different directions, do we add or do we subtract? Great job, we're going to subtract these. Alright, so let's do the math. Bigger number on top, 27 minus 20. What did you get? Great job, 7. So in this case, the net force acting on this object equals 7, 7 what? Great job, 7 newtons. All right, so do any of these forces uh, win? Great job. 27 wins because it's greater. So what direction is it going? Great, it's going to the left. So because of that, this object is going to move to the left. Excellent job. All right, let's take a look at the next example. All right, so try this one on your own. So pause the video, work it out, and then look back at it to see if you got it right. Alright, so are these forces equal? Great job, they're not equal, so because they're not equal, these forces are unbalanced. Alright, are they going in the same direction or different directions? Great job, they're going in different directions, this one goes left, this one goes right, so because of that, we have to subtract. Alright, so we're going to do the math, 12 minus 10. The answer you should have gotten is 2. So because of that, our net force equals 2 newtons. Alright, so do any of them win? Great job. 12 newtons is bigger, so it wins. Which direction is it going? Great job. It's going to the left. So this object will move to the left. Alright, let's take a look at the next one. Alright, so this one right here is a little tricky. 
This time, we look at both sides. We have forces on both sides. But this side right here has two forces. So what we have to do is we have to combine these first. So what is 6 plus 8? Great job, 14. So in this case, we have 14 newtons here. Which direction are these forces going? Great job, they're going to the right. So here, because of that, we're going to look at 14 newtons and 10 newtons. Those are the two numbers that we're working with, and now we're done with these. All right, so we ask ourselves, equal or unequal? Great job, they're unequal, so balanced or unbalanced? Great job. These are unbalanced. All right, so are they going in the same direction or different directions? Great job, they're going in different directions. One goes left, the other goes right. So we subtract, excellent job. All right, so let's do the math. 14 minus 10, what does that give you? Great job, four. So in this case, our net force equals four newtons. Great job, guys. All right, so which one wins? Great job, 14 is bigger, so it wins. Which direction is it moving? Great job. It's moving to the right, so this object will move to the right. All right, let's look at the last example. All right, so let's look at this last example right here. It looks pretty much like the previous one. So what I want you to do is I want you to review what we just did, pause the video, work this one out, then continue playing the video to see if you did it correctly. All right, so once again, on the left side of this square, or this rectangle actually, we have two forces. So we have to combine those first before we can do anything else. So what's 12 plus 13? Great job. It's 25 newtons. And which direction are they going? Great job. They're going to the left. So now we can use this one and this one and we're completely done with these. Alright, so equal forces or unequal? Great job. These forces are unequal so they're unbalanced. All right, are they going in the same direction or different directions? Great job, different directions. This one right here is going to the left and this one's going to the right. So in that case, we subtract. So let's do the math. 30 minus 25. Let's review really fast. Can I do zero minus five? Great job. I can't do 0 minus 5. I have to borrow. So 0 goes knock, knock, knock. Hey, neighbor, can I borrow 1? 3 says, yeah, go ahead. Borrow 1. 3 becomes a 2. 0 becomes a 10. What's 10 minus 5? Great job. It's 5. What's 2 minus 2? Great job. 0. So what is the net force acting on this object? Great job. It's five newtons. Do any of them win? Great job. 30 newtons is bigger, so it wins. Which direction is it going? Great job. It goes to the right, so this entire object will move to the right. All right, great job, guys. Go ahead and start looking at the next video, which is how to calculate net force, examples A through C.